Dan Francisco. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for coming all in here. Uh, actually, it's my first time to speak in a big crowd like this. Um, so just to introduce myself, my name is Daniel. I started my company, Dan Media Group, in 2015. We're basically more into the events production side and media production side. And some of the clients that we work with are The Entertainer, you know, uh, Sheikh Tashid Khalifa from Art Bahrain. It's actually one of the uh, milestones that we we got uh, during uh, 2015. And I know it's this forum is more about um, failures. So let me get you and take you back to where it all started. 2013, I was working with a company as a slave, basically, because I'm working day in and day out without any form of weekend, any form of um, off. And then finally one day when I had a chance to take my off is that my, my family were having dinner, my boss called me, and when I pick up the phone, the first thing that I receive over the phone is that, Daniel, where the hell are you? Go back to site and fix that problem. Immediately, what I felt is I felt really bad, I felt angry, and that is one of the reasons why I wanted to start a business. But 2013 is not that easy for me, because as you already can see, my dad got laid off, um, he was an engineer working in UAE for the past 10 years. And that was a time where I really said to myself that I don't want to beg with someone to give me a salary or to give me, tell what will be my future be like. So in 2014, that's where I joined a company, a Finnish company. By the way, anyone here is Finnish or work with the Finnish people? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, hi, <laughs> hi, um, so, so basically, uh, these guys know how to learn to sell. They, they're basically good in technology. At some point, all of the skills that I can give credit to in terms of creating a business came from these guys. And of course, 2014 was also, this movie came out. <laughs> I'm sure most of you, when you heard Leonardo's speech, that's where basically the catalyst of why I started a business. <laughs> Not the, the, the fuck up you know, thing and all that, but more on, on the business side of things. So 2014, towards 2015, by the time I had enough uh, skills under my belt, so I decided to start my own company, side, start my own side hustle. Even though I told, I told, I'm telling people that it's my company, it's actually a one-man band, one-man show, like everybody, my you know, startup entrepreneurs might be. And so, 2015, I started this uh, Dan Media Group because it sounds global, sounds big, and you know in Dubai they like the biggest, the largest, and all that, even though it's a one-man band. So, <laughs> um, I had the thousands of, of emails, so what I did is, I write this draft, just a crappy PDF, where a short introduction about what we do, I send it out, the next day to a couple of uh, people, uh, like a thousand maybe. <laughs> and the first uh, thing that I received in my inbox was this. Mail delivery failure. <laughs> because I send a lot of emails, so it, it is a little bit spammy, but um, yeah, that's, that's the background. So, but at, at the end of the day, I received a couple of emails saying that, Daniel, we don't know you. Your company is not existing yet. You don't have any projects. So come back to us when you have enough, you know, clients under your belt. I said okay. And then it doesn't, you know, felt this hard then until one company called me to say, Daniel, we want a branding identity. Can you do it? I said yes, of course I can do it because as a being an entrepreneur, the only thing that you need to learn is learn to say yes first before you can execute it. But I'm not a designer myself, so how did I did it? Like anybody who heard of Fiverr, Design Crowd, or maybe if you have some friends that can do it for you, I gave it to a one freelancer that can design the logo for me and the whole identity. So I submitted it, the client liked it, but unfortunately, as you know, some clients are really a pain in the ass. They like a lot of provisions, they like to work as a, you know, like a dog 24 seven, so I said, 
can you please make the revision? And the freelancer said, I'm working full time. I cannot submit it on time. <laughs> so then I realized that the hunger is different when it comes to working with someone with a side hustle and someone who wanted to start and scale a business. Because for him, it's just another side hustle. But for me, it was my first client. So I, those are the failures, the first failure I got in running this business. And secondly, you might ask, what is this? <laughs> of course, like any entrepreneurs in, my, in our third uh, year that we're running the business, almost at least once a year, we're always going broke. And that because in running the events management is same, similar to a construction company. You, it's, a, you know, it's cash flow. Um, you need to be thinking about the cash flow. Even though there's one client that we closed, and we're, we're really happy at that time because it's around maybe six months worth of our cash flow, and for at least a year and a half that we closed that deal, we're really happy. But only we that know is that it will come too late. Because you know in UAE, it's all about trust, it's all about you know delivering first and before you ask for more. <laughs> so that's what we learned is that bigger projects doesn't always equate to a better cash flow. So what we decided is to focus more on smaller clients, get good cash flow, and focus more on relationships. And then 2016, I hope I got it right. <laughs> um, my wife is here. We actually got married, which is an interesting journey of my entrepreneurial um, journey. Thank you. Um, she, I told her to just resign her job and join join me with you know building this company. So I thought uh, I taught her about you know marketing, you know how to deal with clients here and that. But uh, you know, as a lady, it's more. When you're talking over to a client, it's more easier to, you know, get them to say yes and make them make the guys more comfortable. Yes? <laughs> no? Okay, sorry. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that when my wife joined, we're, we're receiving a lot of inquiries, we're receiving a lot of uh, new projects. But, you know, in, in, in between of the line is that we're having these uh, leads and inquiries, but we're not closing it. So what we learn is that too much, too much leads and without concentration can you know, give you an effect with your cash flow as well. So we learn to focus on client relationships that gives us business referrals. So we, we learn how to start small. What's the next? Yeah, so that's, that's uh, the third failure that we learned. It's more about focusing on clients and starting small because you know, um, my, my struggle before when I was getting new clients, getting these brands and companies is that I'm always thinking about growth, growth, growth. You know, I mean, it's always, you, always too easy to think that you can get these clients every day, every month. But you know, when you're working in UAE, sometimes the market can really be unpredictable. So with the main question is, where are we now? Well, thank God, like I said, we, we finished our third year in running the business. We also launched the business uh, Blueprint Middle East, which is more a online platform for videos. But if I can leave you one lesson that I can you know, share with you tonight, is that, because when you're running a business, there are only two outcomes that, that can you know, really happen. It's either you go down, went bust, or really go up, and you know, scale the business, and maybe have a successful exit. Is that talent can, only help you achieve success, but at the end of the day, it's all about your character that will sustain it. So thank you so much for listening.